Hello everyone, this is Mr. Masonette, and on this online tutorial, we are going to figure out how many possible combinations that there are in any given story problem using the NCR function. In this story problem, we must figure out how many ways we can combine three different flavors of ice cream when given six different flavors to choose from. With the NCR function, the N represents how many we have to choose from, and the R represents how many we actually choose within the given story problem. After we decipher what the N and the R must be in the given story problem, we simply substitute the N and the R for those numbers. In this case, we must substitute N for 6, because there are 6 flavors to choose from, and we must substitute the R with 3, because we are choosing 3 flavors in this story problem. Now, after we set that up, we are going to use the equation n factorial divided by r factorial multiplied by the difference of n and r factorial. In this formula, simply substitute all the n's with 6 and all the r's with 3. Now, the exclamation point in math means it's a factorial. So you just simply take the number and multiply backwards all the way to the number 1. So for the numerator, we're just going to take 6 factorial and multiply all the way down to 1. So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, although the 1 is actually unnecessary when doing a factorial. Now on the bottom, we have to do 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, and in parentheses, we must subtract 6 and 3 first and get 3, and then take 3 and do a factorial of that which is also 3 times 2 times 1. Now, this is a division problem, and we can cancel out anything that shares a common factor. Notice on the top and the bottom at the end, we have the exact same numbers, 3 times 2 times 1. So we're just going to simply cancel all of those out right away. Now on the top, we can cancel out the 6 and the 3, which would turn into a 2 and a 1. We can also cancel out the 4 and the 2, which would cancel to be 2 and 1. Now on the top, all that remains is 10 times 2, which is 20. And on the bottom, all you have remaining is the number 1. So we would simplify the improper fraction of 20 over 1 as simply 20 different ways to combine the three flavors. Also, whenever doing a combinations problem, the bottom numbers should always cancel out. The reason for that is that you cannot have a fraction for the number of combinations. You can't say, for example, there's five and a half combinations. It must be a whole number, such as five ways to combine, six or seven ways to combine. So that's an important note whenever canceling out, is that everything on the bottom should cancel out to be the number one. I hope that you found the contents of this online tutorial useful. And remember, with combinations, order is not important.